Okey, kita tengok ya macam mana. Okey, saya rasa dah tak ada masalah dah dengan suara. Okey, uh, so we are going to discuss Camp Clone 1. Okey, ada a few mistake yang saya tak perasan but then kita boleh check je lah. Okey, janji kita have a good practice on this question. Saya cari juga question yang out of the box supaya macam kamu boleh practice banyak lagi lah. Okay, uh, so now untuk this question, uh, apa yang saya nak fokus pada kamu, saya nak kamu faham uh, istilah hydrated. So hydrated ni ialah, sekejap ya. Okay, betul, this one. Okay, so hydrated ni maksudnya dia masih ada titik H2 O. Okay. So, bila ada titik H2O, kita nak tahu berapa banyak H2O tersebut. Okay. And this one, uh, for this question, sodium carbonate. Okay. Dia bukannya minta hydrated sodium carbonate. So, you kena edit. Dia cuma minta first plus 2 mol of hydrochloric acid produce 2 mol of sodium chloride, carbon dioxide and water. Okay. So yang ni lagi satu saya nak test kamu. Tidak you tahu tak carbon dioxide produk dia akan jadi carbon, apa ni carbonat produk dia akan jadi carbon dioxide and water. Okay so one mark for balance equation. Balance equation macam biasa lah. Kena ada state of matter. Okay. And then next dia minta molar concentration of sodium carbonate. Okay. So nak kira molar concentration of sodium carbonate ni first of all you kena faham lah dulu soalan. Soalan ni dia cakap awal-awal 27.82 gram. Okay di sini hydrated to dissolve in 100 ml of water. So daripada eh, 100 plus 1. 1000. And then lepas tu daripada 1000 ni you ambil 25 ml masuk dalam conical flask and react with what hydrochloric acid. Okay. And lepas tu you sodium dekat sini yang sebelum dissolve ni nama dia adalah hydrated. Lepas dah dissolve dia cuma biasa je lah sodium carbonate. Okay. And then dia react dengan hydrochloric acid. So soalan minta kamu eh? Molar concentration. Molar concentration ni adalah this one. Berapa dia punya molar? Rt. So you dah tahu dah ini adalah reaction between acid and base. So you pakailah uh, MAVA over MBVB. So you just masuk the value and then you akan dapat molar Rt untuk sodium carbonate. Okay. So you substitute the formula akan dapat satu markah and you punya molar Rt of So, the carbonate will be another mark. Okay. And then next. Uh, yeah. Kawan kamu tanya, uh, sodium carbonate and HCl tu mesti state dalam EQ. Yes, mesti state. Yang ini wajib EQ. Sebab dia buat titration. Titration mesti aqueous. Okay. Uh, Okay, and then next, untuk nak kira value X. You nak kira value X. X ni dekat mana? X ni di sini. So, you kena faham konsep dia ialah uh, bilangan mol N untuk N A2 CO3 adalah sama dengan bilangan mol untuk N Na2CO3 H2O. Bilangan mol dia mesti sama mol dia mesti sama. Okey. Uh, dia bukan masalah. Okey. Dan dari sini pergi ke uh, conical flask. Okey. So now you kena kira bilangan mol dulu. So bilangan mol untuk sodium karbonat Okay, ini sodium carbonate will be 0.0976 1 liter. 1 liter ni kenapa 1 liter? Sebab ialah kalau ini molarity, molarity this one 
mesti sama dengan warna Ricky ni kan sebab dia daripada tempat yang sama. Okay. Uh, so kalau tadi kat di sini kamu dapat kosong poin. Okay sorry salah ni. Di sini you dapat 0.0976. So, di sini pun akan jadi 0.0976 molar. Okay. Jadi, you dah ada dia punya molarity dan you dah ada dia punya volume. You boleh cari number of mole. Okay. So, jadi bilangan mole untuk sodium carbonate dalam kamu punya okay yang 1000 ml ni akan sama dengan bilangan mol untuk hydrated sodium carbonate. Okey. So yang kena dapat satu lagi maka bila you cari mol untuk hydrated sodium carbonate and then daripada the mol you boleh tukar kepada molar mass. Okey you dapat lagi satu maka. Okey. So sekarang ni daripada molar mass ni lah nanti baru kita buat next step untuk nak cari x. Okey. So, you punya X, molar mass dia will be 285.04. Okay. And jadi, you kat sini, you boleh kira lah berapa nilai kita punya X. So, X will be 10. Okay. Kejap, saya lupa nak besarkan screen. Okay, sorry. Uh, kalau bunda terus concentration jadi 0.01 molar, okay, di sini... Uh, don't run off. Jangan bundakan. Uh, you macam saya cakap hari tu, always you keep for decimal. Okay. So maintain your for decimal. And next, okay you dah habis dah molar mass. Lepas tu, okay settle. So, you boleh dapatlah value X sebab soalan minta kamu X. Okay, settle. So, total will be 7 marks. Next, for question 3, it change to uh, from hydrochloric acid to sulfuric acid. So, dia tanya volume of the sulfuric acid needed. Needed untuk apa? Needed untuk you punya titration. Okay. So, jadi yang ini yang kamu kira dah tadi. You punya molarity and this one molarity given and volume ni sam ambil sama lah dengan volume dalam clinical slide. So, you just pakai MAVA over MBV MB MBVB. So, you dapatlah molarity uh, volume untuk sulfuric acid. Okay. So, you akan dapat satu markah at chemical equation and one mark untuk you punya volume sulfuri acid. Okay, so two marks. And then next, calculate percentage by mass of solution obtained by mixing 300 gram of 25D, 25D uh, percentage sodium Nitrate with 400 gram of 40% solution of solute X. Okay, so ada ni lain sikit kan? Okay, so dia bagi yang 300 gram ni, ini adalah 300 gram solution. And this one is 25% ni adalah weight per weight. 400 gram ni pun adalah solution. And this ini adalah weight per Wait, okay. So now dia minta pada kamu percentage by mass. So percentage by mass ni macam biasa lah. Mass of solute over mass of solution times 100. Okay. So sekarang ni you nak kena tahu berapa mass solute total mass solute and okay. Sekejap ya. Okay, dah selesai. Okay, total mass solute and total mass solution. Okay. So, jadi kita kena carilah satu-satu. Mula-mula kita cari dulu uh, solute untuk ammonium 
nitrat. Okay, so you cari dulu solid ammonium nitrat. You akan dapat mass of solid untuk ammonium nitrat will be 75 gram. Okay, so formula 1 mark and you punya mass of solid untuk ammonium nitrat 1 mark. Okay. And then untuk X pun you cari juga. So you dapat 160 gram. Okay. So the total mass of solid will be 235 gram. Okay. So you dapat berapa markah di sini? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So you dah dapat total mass of solid. You kena kira pula total mass of solution. So 300 plus 400 you akan dapat 700 gram. Okay. And next, baru you boleh masuk dalam percentage by mass. So, 235 over 700 times 100. So, you akan dapat 33.57%. Okay. So, total will be 6 marks. Okay. So, soalan ni agak bagus kan sebab saya rasa soalan ni tak sama macam soalan past year question. Okay. So, it's good for you lah. Ada banyak sikit pengalaman baru. Okay. And then next, determine the empirical formula of the hydrated compound. Submissionnya, saya nak kamu tahu hydrated compound adalah XH2O. Okay. So, dia bagi kamu percentage copper, sulfur, oxygen oxygen and water. Okay. So sebab you dah tahu hydrated, you tak payah pecah lah water ni kepada hydrogen and oxygen. Okay. You just biar je maintain H2O. Okay. So you daripada percentage, you akan tukarkan kepada mass. Okay. You just tulis balik je lah kan. Mass and then you tukar kepada mole. Okay. Okay. So, tukar pada mole, you akan dapat all correct will be 2 mark. Tapi kalau you betul 2 uh, or 3 correct, it will be 1 mark. So, kalau 1 correct, alright. And then dekat situ you boleh kira ratio. So, you akan dapat lah you punya X is 5. Okay. So, you dapatlah dia punya empirical formula. So, 3 maka, 3 maka will be untuk you punya empirical formula and then you punya number of mole. Okay. So, simple dia soalan ni tapi kamu kena faham lah apa maksud so, hydrated compound. Okay. Next for question number two. Question number two ni sebuah markah daripada 10 markah kepada 8 markah. So, dia minta kamu calculate the energy dalam unit nanometer. Uh, produce when electrons fall from N equal to 6 to N equal to 4. Name the species N. Region for of the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay. So, correct formula will be 1 mark. Okay. So, since there any initial and final, you kena tahu lah initial dia adalah 6 and the final will be 4. Okay. And then you substitute the formula and you will get your answer in joule. Okay. And then you boleh uh, calculate with length from this formula and you write the formula you will get one mark and after that substitute one mark and you punya lambda must be in unit nanometer okay is it negative three or negative three right this will be yes three okay alright uh, uh, so next Dia tanya kamu name the series. So, series since then the electron fall at n equal to 4, it will be bracket series and bracket series the inf it will be infra 
rate. Okay. So, total will be 8 mark. Di mana 8 mark? You tulis formula, you substitute the formula and you give the final answer. Okay. Di sini, sign ni in sis. Okay. And then you dapat, uh, you tulis formula untuk with length. You substitute and you dapat with length in nanometer and mark. And you jawab bracket siri and infrared. Okay. So, soalan ni kalau saya bagi tadi mula saya kira uh, delta E and then saya tukar kepada wave length. Boleh juga kalau kamu kira wave length and then tukar kepada energy. Up to you. Okay. Dua-dua betul. Okay. So, settle. And then for question 3, draw all the resonance structure for Theosinite ion. So, di sini dia dah susun dah. You tak boleh susun macam ni. N C S Okay, you tak boleh susun macam ni. It will be incorrect. You kena follow uh, the question. The question ask you to arrange like this. Okay. So, kena follow the question. Okay. So, first of all, in order you you want to deduce the plausible structure, you need to draw the wave structure. So, the valence electron is 15 uh, plus charge 1, negative 16 and 16 4 ni will be your bonding electron and 12 will be you punya valence electron at terminal atom. So, kalau you kira central atom uh, not yet Optic, so you need to do the multiple bond. So the possibility nak dapat multiple bond banyak. You boleh bawa elektron di sini, pergi ke sini, so you akan dapat double bond. Okay. Ataupun you boleh juga buat hmm, di sini jadi tiga and di sini jadi satu. So dia ada banyak possibilities and the possibility will be three. A, B and C. Okay. So, uh, soalan suruh kamu buat resonan. Okay. Uh, jadi, you arrow ni insist. Kalau kamu buat this arrow will be in correct. Kalau tak ada arrow tu terus salah jawapan kamu. Okay. So, you be A, B, C. And then, uh, you nak kira, you want to find most possible structure, you need to calculate form a charge for each atom. So, form a charge ni, formula wajib to this. Kadang-kadang tak ada markah untuk formula but then you tulis lah. At least kalau waktu ada markah, you dapat markah. Okay, so wajib tulis. You jangan kisah makin skim macam mana. You kena buat ikut the best way. Okay, so now saya bagi mata untuk formula form a charge. Okay, so now uh, form a charge you tak payah tunjuk satu-satu. Just you trace formula sahaja cukup. And di sini just saya nak recall kalau siapa tak ingat cara shortcut nak kira form a charge. So, form a charge uh, equal to, ini shortcut tau, bukan ikut formula ni. So, keempat, dia punya valence electron tolak dengan 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Empat tolak dengan 5. So, you akan dapat negative 1. And then, nitrogen valence electron is 5 minus 1, 2, 3, 4. So, you will get positive 1. And lastly, for sulfur, sulfur a valence electron 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so you will get negative 1. Okay, so itu cara untuk kamu nak congak. Tapi, macam tadi saya cakap, formula wajib to this. But then you can congak macam saya tunjuk. So, bila you dah kira, you dapat, okay, saya minimize sikit. Okay. So, now you akan nampak di sini, 
Okay, dia akan nampak apa? Let's see. Okay, di sini uh, ada you negative one, positive one, negative one, you still dapat negative one, right? Yang ni pun zero plus negative one plus zero negative one. And sama juga dengan yang ni. Negative three plus one plus one will be negative one. But then B will be the most possible least structure because more zero form a charge. There is in it word zero. Okay, so it becomes more plausible. Okay, so jawapan kamu, you akan dapat jawapan pada Uh, tiga maka di sini, first ialah pada you punya kiraan formula charge. Okay, so one mark ni for formal charge. Okay, uh, the second mark for most plausible and the third mark will be for the reason. Okay. So, you akan dapat tiga markah di sini. Alright. So, overall will be seven marks. Okay. So, next. Question number three B is about fluorine is more electronegative element. Okay. And it we add with Oxygen to form dichloride. Oxygen. Follow the question. F2O. Okay. But then O will be the central atom. Okay. So you look at, you can read structure. But soalan bukan minta read structure tau. Soalan minta uh, draw and explain structure using VSEPR theory. So means that this structure is molecular geometry ataupun istilah lain adalah molecular shape and V S E P R theory are for repulsion so you can explain tentang repulsion ok so now you look at this structure tak ada markah lagi but then it guide you untuk nak tulis dia punya general formula. So, di sini A will be your central atom. B ni apa? B adalah two bonding pair electron. E ada dua refer kepada two lone pair electron. One, two. Okay. So, over here you akan dapat one mark. Okay. Uh, ataupun kalau you tak buat general formula, this one will be your first mark. And then next, sebab dia tentang VSEPR, you kena bagi tahu basic shape will be tetrahedral and dia punya molecular shape or molecular geometry will be V shape and bond angle will be less than 109.5 degree Celsius and next, You soalan suruh draw kan tadi. So, you kena buat draw. Okay, so you kena draw lah. This one kena draw. So, kena draw molecular geometry. Kalau kamu nak lukis macam ni pun tak ada masalah. Saya saja je buat. Okay. Macam tu. So, make sure that it will be V shape ataupun Bang. Okay. And next, sebab dia minta B as EPR, repulsion. So, you kena bagi tahu lah. Repulsion lone pair electron uh, with lone pair electron is greater than repulsion between bonding pair electron with bonding pair electron. Okay. Kalau kamu just jawab Repulsion Lone Pair Greater than Repulsion Bonding 
pair. Yang ini so repartition between lone pair with lone pair. Kena ada kataan with lone pair. And repartition between bonding pair with bonding pair. Okay. So jangan tulis repartition lone pair greater than bonding pair. So this one ayat kena complete. Okay, so total will be six mark. Okay, six mark tentang kamu punya uh, molecular draw. Tadi dia minta apa? Draw and explain. Okay, VSE, PR. VSPR ni kena cakap semua tentang molecular geometry. Okay, settle. And next, uh, show tip. Sorry, table below show the bonding points of methanol and methyl ethyl. Okay, kita terus sebut dia. Okay, but then, okay, kalau you tengok di sini, methanol, dia ada hydrogen bond and di sini, uh, tak ada pun highly electronegative atom, so it just have Now, tiga marker will be you just bagi tahu methanol, hydrogen bond and then you punya methane ethyl when the was force. Okay, tu ni lah when the was force and then hydrogen bond in methanol is stronger intermolecular forces compared to when the was in CH3 as You jawab strong sahaja it will be in correct. Okay. And next. Okay, maka dia diberi pada sini je kan. Kalau kamu nampak 1, 2, 3. Okay. Tapi kalau you jawab dalam PSPM, this sentence you tulis tu. Kadang-kadang ada makah di, di sini So saya tak nak kamu hilang makah You tulis juga eh There's more energy is needed to overcome Methanol is higher when point compared to CH3SH Okay so tiga makah And then next Dia minta kamu compare Lagi dua And this one dua-dua ni adalah Venda was Okay, beza dia cuma pada SE Okay, so which one has bigger mass This one will have Bigger mass Okay, you can check lah Dia punya more, apa Dia punya relative molecule Atomic mass, okay So, two point Two point will be uh, Bigger molecular Weight, okay, lagi satu ER, wajib eh Bigger molecular weight ataupun you boleh juga pakai istilah size and therefore CH3SEH has stronger when the was forces. Okay. Simple sahaja. Two marks. Okay and then next. Okay this is about Okay. Uh, yang ini Avogadro Law Okay So Avogadro Law ni You kena baca betul-betul Dia bagi tahu kamu dekat sini Gas Remain Gas remain the same And dia bagi tahu juga um, At constant Temperature Okay And then dia bagi tahu uh, Volume 
increase. So, you add the initial then final and you soalan tanya how many moles were added. So, it means that di sini you punya mole also change. Okay. So, dia dah tahu dah dia adalah Avogadro law. Okay. So, Avogadro law 2 gram you tukar kepada mole. You akan dapat 1 mark and then apply Avogadro law you akan dapat 1 mark. Okay. So, di sini saya nak highlight kamu since that di sini adalah Avogadro law temperature and pressure constant yang ini wajib tulis dia in cis because it is Avogadro law. Okay. So and then you substitute and you akan dapat dia punya number of mole final. Okay. So settle lah. Direct je kan soalan ni. Janji kamu dapat tahu dia adalah Avogadro. Di sini formula you tulis formula sahaja with dia punya constant Setelah ni, you akan dapat satu markah. Kalau tak tulis, tak dapat markah. And then you punya final, you akan dapat one mark. Okay. But soalan bukan tanya final. Soalan tanya added. Added means that final minus dengan initial. So you akan dapat 0 0.17, 0 0.175 mole. Okay. And then convert to mass added. You akan dapat 0 0.7 gram. Okay. Total will be 5 marks. You tolong kira markah tau. Untuk you nak tahu dekat mana you punya sekarang, you punya benchmark. Sebab kita punya target nak dapat 60 per 80. Okay. So, number of mole initial satu markah. Formula will be the second mark. You punya mole final one mark. Mole added one mark and mass added will be another mark. Okay, settle. And next for question 4B. Okay, this one is about displacement method. So, kalau displacement je, you dah baca je benda ni, you kena tahu Delta's law. Okay, tak payah fikir banyak-banyak, you tahu dah dia mesti Delta's law. Okay. So, now... Okay, you tulis equation yang ni dalam ni dia tak bagi markah pada equation tapi you tulis lah supaya you tahu di sini adalah solid and solid and gas. Okay, so you tak adalah nanti you confuse. Okay, and this question saya buat salah sikit dalam soalan ni. So, I need changes. So, calculate pressure. Okay, calculate pressure bukan volume sebab volume dia dah bagi. So, calculate pressure and then it's mole untuk carbon dioxide. Okay. So, ini maklumat yang diberi. Uh, since that, you biasalah you nak buat masuk dalam PV and RT. P kena unit ATM. So, dia bagi kamu dalam MMHG, you convert pada ATM, you will get one mark. And then, you boleh kira you punya P total. P total dia dah bagi kan? Dia bagi pada kamu tadi. Total pressure one ATM. Okay, so P total dia dah bagi. And pressure water also given. Okay, mana dia... Uh, this is vapor pressure of water. Okay, yang you tukar kepada A, T, M. Okay. So, you will get you punya pressure carbon dioxide. Okay. And then, kita nak cari moles. Okay. So, you nak cari mole, you akan dapatlah bilangan mole. Okay. So, some changes and this one will be enam. Maka. Okay. So, it's okay lah. Ada pembetulan sikit pada soalan ni. And next. Question number five. Okay. So, question number five is about 
uh, chemical equilibrium dia bagi kamu total pressure kalau ada perkataan total pressure pun dalam otak kamu mesti ada perkataan that's law okay so it, of the system is 4.5 atm if the equilibrium constant kp is 1.52 calculate the partial pressure okay so dua yang diberi and you kena macam biasa lah kalau chapter 6 you kena buat ice table so you buat ice table sekarang ni inilah masalah kamu di sini you tak tahu berapa initial dia but then untuk product you akan dapat zero since that dia adalah initial okay and then untuk change you akan dapat di sini negative x and this one will be positive 2x 2x kenapa 2x sebab di sini ada 2 okay and then equilibrium pun kita tak tahu so saya buat di sini a and di sini b you boleh interchange ikut seperti kamu lah you nak buat dekat sini a di sini b pun tak apa cuma kalau kamu buat macam tu dia susah sikit sebab yang ini ada 2 okay Eh, yang ni ada dua, di sini ada dua. So, saya senang buat di sini A. Okay, so saya padam lah ni. Okay, so di sini will be B yang tu A. Okay, so let's say uh, equilibrium PCO is A and P carbon dioxide is B. Okay, so that is law. You akan dapat uh, P total equal to P carbon dioxide plus PCO. So, di sini you akan dapat P carbon dioxide A. Okay. So, sekarang ni you cuma ada satu je lah unknown. So, unknown kita adalah A. Okay. Kalau kamu buat A dan B, dia akan jadi susah. Kita ambil satu je unknown. Okay. Unknown A. Okay, so next you masuk dalam KP expression Okay, you masuk KP expression You tulis benda ni sahaja You akan dapat One mark Okay, so lepas tu you boleh masuk lah P, C, O, K tu kita dah bagi tahu A And then C, O tu kita dah bagi tahu 4.5 minus A di sini Okay So, lepas tu you boleh buat quadratic and you akan dapat value A. So, you akan pilih value yang positif. Okay. So, you akan dapatlah PCO adalah 1.96 untuk uh, uh, P carbon dioxide total 4.5 kan. So, P pressure for carbon dioxide, you tolak je lah dengan A. So, you will get 2.5365 atm. Okay. So, total will be 6 mark. Yang ni pun saya rasa soalan a good question for you sebab you jarang jumpa soalan ni dalam tutorial or past year. Past year mungkin ada ke? But then, soalan ni ada dalam kamu punya Ya, quiz. Okay, so settle for question number 5. And next, 5B. Okay. So, 5B dia bagi tahu kamu tentang bla bla bla. So, dia tanya kamu two possible way to increase chlorine production. Okay, ini adalah soalan Li Cheta Lear. Okay. So, bila you nak buat ni cerita lear ni, you tengok dulu di sini. Endotermic. Endotermic you punya N tapi will be for the thief. Okay. So, jadi you tambah dalam equation, heat will be at return. Sebab apa? Sebab dia absorb. So, absorb dia mesti jadi return. Okay. So, you tulis dulu macam tu. Okay. So, and then uh, you nak increase the foreign production. So, kamu kena pergi shift to the right. Okay. 
And faktor yang mempengaruhi literature adalah pressure, volume, uh, mass, temperature dan lagi satu will be inert gas. Okay, yang ni kamu kena ingatlah sama je kan. It will be from PV equal to NRT. So it dia punya one factor and then uh, mole temperature dan lagi satu adalah inert gas ok so jadi you nak two possible ways you tengok lah yang pertama saya pakai concentration concentration ni datang daripada mana N dengan V ok So, concentration. Kalau you nak shift to the right, you kena increase concentration as O2 Cl2. Okay, kalau you increase kan di sini, dia banyak. So, dia, it will be consume. Okay, so, dia akan shift to the right. Okay, itu dia yang pertama. Yang kedua pula, kalau kamu remove chlorine gas, apa yang berlaku di sini will be decrease. So, bila decrease, dia akan shift to the right untuk nak re-establish the equilibrium. Okay. Uh, okay. So, it will be okay lah. Uh, ada satu soalan daripada Josephine gives about this question mana dia bagi kita tanya dia, dia tanya kalau for example negative a negative uh, positive 3 and negative 0.1 nak accept yang mana sepatutnya dia takkan jadi macam ni lah Normally, not occur. Biasanya dia tak akan jadi macam tu. But then, ya, yeah, kalau kamu pilih, you kena pilih. Uh, kalau jadi juga, you kena pilih near to one. Kalau berlaku juga, you akan pilih which one is near to one. Ataupun, bukan which one is near to one, sorry. Which one near to zero. Okay, untuk value dia. Sebab dia adalah degree of dissociation. Dia adalah berapa banyak terlerai and benda ni uh, will be reversible. So, dia punya value x should be but not negative. Okay. So, rasanya boleh menjawab soalan lah ya. Okay, uh, balik pada sini. So, remove chlorine. You akan dapat shift to the right. And then, increase temperature. Increase temperature ni macam mana? Saya padam ni dulu. Sebab dah serabut dah. Yang ni pun saya padam lah ya. Okay. So, okay. Now it's plain. Okay. So, yang ini plus heat. Okay. So, now kalau you nak, kalau you plus, you increase the temperature, heat will be increased. So, heat ni adalah rectum. So, bila rectum increase, you akan shift to the right and you will produce chlorine. Okay. So, increase the temperature. And lastly, decrease the pressure. So, decrease pressure ni, you can ingat uh, to re-establish, you can what? So, you can balikkan increase pressure. So, how you nak increase pressure, you can uh, shift to side more number of mole. Okay. So, you kena kira lah. 
di sini will be one more. Di sini will be one plus one. So it will be two. So it will shift to the side that has greater number of more. So it will shift to the right and increase the foreign production. Okay, so soalan minta empat, you can choose two. Okay, so you boleh choose lah. So you can choose two. Okay, settle. Next, for question number six is about neutralization between hydrochloric acid and barium, uh, barium hydroxide. So the question asks you to sketch. Sketch no need graph paper. Okay. So tak perlu graph paper. And dia suruh kamu buat label pH corresponding to the equivalence point at the titration curve. Okay. So now you can alert dia bagi kamu this value. Okay. Dia bagi pada kamu 25 0.25 molar hydrochloric acid and molar and 25 area hydroxide. So dia suruh sketch. Jadi yang ni kamu kena kira lah dia punya initial initial pH ok so you kena kira dia punya initial pH and you nak kira initial pH uh, so this one will be one mark and one mark and then you kena convert kepada pH will be another mark ok so yang ni dia perangkat pada kamu the base, so you're going to tukar daripada POH kepada PH. Okay, settle. So, it will be 12.3 and then next uh, since that yang ini adalah reaction between strong acid and strong base, you akan dapat neutral salt. Neutral salt will be PH equal to Seven. Okay. So, dia tak minta kamu calculate pun kan. Dia suruh kamu sketch je. Jadi, tak payah buat pun tak apa. Okay. Uh, so, sekarang ni markah dia di mana? <coughs> Sorry. Markah dia will be at, saya kecikkan sikit eh. Bagi nampak semua. Okay. Uh, markah dia will be at this. Okay. So, at this one mark okay you can think of this in will be pH and this in will be volume hydrophil unit in this okay and then next will be your shape shape ada dua kan shape sama ada you punya will be this one ataupun lagi satu will be um this one okay so you kena buat betul lah daripada sini Sebab apa yang ini uh, You punya conical flux will be You punya barium hydroxide Yang ini adalah you punya burek Okay so shape correct will be One mark And then pH jump one mark So since that dia adalah strong acid And strong base The pH jump will be From 4 to 10. Okay. So, pH jam ni kena half fun. Okay. And then uh, the last part is sebab soalan minta kamu label the pH. Okay. So, you kena label lah pH di sini you punya pH will be 7 at equivalent point. Okay. So, yang ia makan dia will be dekat mana ni? Hmm. Okay, it will be kalau tengok di sini. Saya tukar side warna, saya tukar warna purple. Okay. So, at this correct. 
Dua-dua edges ni correct. One mark. Okay. You punya shape correct will be the second mark. Okay. And then pH jump correct will be the third mark. Okay. And then equivalent point correct label will be the fourth mark. Oh, okay. Yang ni tak ada markah. Sorry. So, di sini you punya pH you kira dapat the next mark 5. Okay. So, should be di sini pun sebenarnya boleh dapat markah ni. But then, dia punya maximum will be 5 marks. Okay. So, that's all. Do you have any question? Yang dalam Google Meet, ada tak soalan? Okay, macam tak ada soalan je. Okay, so kalau uh, equation wajib ada face ke tak ada face, uh, kalau saya, I will say wajib. Kalau ada markah lah. Macam this one, dia tak ada markah pun. Tak ada markah tak apa. Okay, but then kalau macam for Uh, for this question kalau okey macam ni saya letak kat bawah. Okey. Saya pergi scroll bawah okey. So now uh, equation. Equation you tanya tentang state of matter. Okey. So macam ni senang ya. Chapter 1 wajib Okay, sebab dia suruh kamu dalam chapter 1, dia ada soalan balance equation. Okay, so you wajib jawab ada state of matter. Okay, and then untuk chapter 6. Okay, chapter 6. Uh, ice table wajib. Okay. And then sama juga dengan kamu punya chapter 7. Kalau you buat ice table, wajib kena ada. Kalau you buat if table pun kena ada state of matter. And lagi satu, chapter 7 juga dalam buffer. Tapi buffer sebenarnya optional jugalah. Okay. So itu je lah. Kena ada state of matter. Okay. Yang tanya tentang soalan N C S. Okay. Yang ini kena follow question. So, kalau markah kita tengok set soalan. Kenapa kamu ubah? Oh, sebab you tengok carbon tu ya. Carbon should be center. Hmm. Eh, mana soalan dia? Okay, kalau kamu salah buat You cuma akan dapat markah untuk uh, Kalau you salah tulis, you cuma akan dapat markah untuk this one Formal charge And then you punya di sini You punya calculate most possible dengan you punya reason. Itu sahaja je akan dapat markah. Empat je lah. Maksimum kalau you dah salah, you cuma dapat consider maksimum empat daripada tujuh markah je yang you boleh dapat. Okay, yang strong acid and strong base tu, yes, kena hafal. 
yang kamu kena hafal banyak chapter 7 ni. You kena hafal banyak. Banyak lah juga. Takkan rasa cakap, nak cakap sikit kan? Okay, chapter 7 you kena hafal banyak. Uh, you can hafal example strong acid strong base you can hafal juga weak acid weak base you can hafal juga uh, pH jam okay, pH jam untuk strong acid less dengan strong base and then uh, weak acid with strong base and then lagi satu strong base dengan weak acid you can hafal and then you can juga hafal Ah, uh, you kena hafal juga dia punya indicator, indicator which one indicator untuk this titration, this titration and this titration. Kena hafal semua tu. And and lagi chapter seven juga you kena hafal tentang buffer. Buffer ni pun kena hafal juga. So, banyak jugalah yang kena hafal chapter 7. Tapi you kena ingat tau chapter the 7. Paling banyak markah. Okay. So, so chapter 1 and 7 paling banyak markah. And then the third chapter adalah chapter Uh, for chemical bonding. So, yang ni tiga okey. Tapi saya juga suka soalan yang paling senang will be chapter 6. So, kalau kamu nak score, kalau kamu rasa macam you susah sangat, okay, you macam you rasa you tak last minute, first of all yang you kena master will be Chapter 1, Chapter 7, lepas tu kamu pergi kepada Chapter 6 and then Chapter 4, lepas dah habis Chapter 4, you boleh pergi pada Chapter 2 and Chapter 5. Okay, tapi 1, 2, 3, 4 Chapter ni kena dapat skor 100% kalau boleh. Okay, ada soalan lagi tak? Okay. Uh, so, korang ada soalan tak? Anis, Sofia, Anissa, Syazwani, Nuris, Sabrina, Siti, Nuriza, Aida, Fahana. Ada soalan? Tak ada Miss. Okay. Uh, so kalau tak ada, okay. Tak ada. Tak ada eh. Okay. So kalau tak ada kita dismiss lah di sini. Sampai di sini until we meet again. Ada lagi banyak lagi hari untuk kamu boleh study. So you study lah banyak-banyak setakat yang kamu mampu, selagi mampu study lah ya. Okay. So that's all. Bye-bye. You can dismiss. Okay, Assalamualaikum and happy Thank holiday. You. Holiday ke korang? Okay. Thank you so much for this. Alright. Okay, 